Hello again, everybody. This is Mr. Everything. I'm coming at you with another sneak peek into Grim Hex, as it was shown on Around the Verse. All right, now, you'll notice that uh, Green Imperial Hex does have some areas that are in zero-g. Uh, Grim is Green Imperial, G-R-I-M. It becomes apparent that uh, they're using a lot of the elements from the VFG hangar, uh, but they look like they might be modified, but that's what you would expect in a asteroid base asteroid hangar. All right, now the spawn rooms, you know, just looking at them, they look like they're all about to fall apart. You know, this is the main area uh, right here. Um, you notice there's a couple elevators, there's some weathering elements, there's wind. There's uh, the displays have been messed with or modified by the pirate elements at Tipple Base. All right, now this is a view from the outside at one of the landing pads. You can see right here in the picture that there's a couple of different airlocks. Uh, but you'll notice when you enter and exit through the airlocks, uh, once in a while, uh, I think they said any time between two and three times, uh, no, wait, 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 wait. like one fourth of the time so like air, you'll like go through and then a couple of times later it'll be, everything will be great and then all of a sudden it'll sound like it's falling apart and it'll sound dangerous like you're about to lose your life and everything but then everything will settle down and go back to normal but you'll notice that the uh you got floating asteroids near the base that's pretty cool um the, the outside the landing pad outside kind of looks grungy and dirty uh, the, the airlocks, uh, they, they do the exact same thing that they would do uh, at Olasar or any of the other bases, but they're just shaped and they just look a little bit different. They seem to be a little bit more cleaner. Little, uh, when I say clean, I mean like straight lines or clean lines, uh, but that could be modified in the future. All right, now you'll see all these little white tags all over the place. Uh, these white tags are locations where there is 3D sound, which is uh, an improvement over the fixed sound points. Uh, 3D sounds basically mean you could blend them as they approach each other. All right, now this is the lobby when you come inside. The and then over on the left-hand side, you'll see the lockers where you would change into your EVA or spacesuits. Right? Uh, you got a high ceiling. Uh, where you can, uh, it looks more like a mall. When I was looking on the inside, it looks like a rundown mall to me. Uh, their inspiration was Blade Runner's uh, market, or, you know. Okay, um, well back to the sound bite things. You'll see, you'll notice them all over. And what they are is uh, when you approach them, you start to hear them louder and louder. And as you start to get away from them, they go dimmer and dimmer. What that means is you could be moving away from one sound and into another sound, and you'll actually get a blend of sounds, which to me is pretty exciting. And he demonstrates this by, by pushing in cloaks and you hear the clanking sounds which you don't hear when you're standing away. All right, so now we're gonna go on upstairs and you can see there's like a little lounge here. Um, there's an airlock at each end of the hallway here, it looks like. Airlock one down that way. That's gonna imply that there's multiple airlocks, which you would expect. So now he's gonna go through here. Now right here, you notice that there is a doorway or a hallway that's been fenced off, a lot like what you see in area 18. And then there's some piping and tubing. Uh, looks really good and sounds really good. Alright, he's just walking around showing you everything. And then he's going to take you to the elevator. There's two elevators. This is elevator two. And he's just flying through it. You know, it's not, he's not riding it. He's moving his camera. Now you're in the main area here. You got the bottom of the elevators, one and two. Uh, you'll see the green imperial sign on the left hand side and then you'll see the uh, green imperial sign that's been hacked and it's got all kinds of images that block things. Video terminals you'll see uh, basically this is the bazaar. 
Uh, there's going to be shops down the hallways, and uh, like he's down this way. You got Cassava Outlet. You can see the clothes out here, and I assume that live fire weapons and and uh, Gary Defense is also on the station somewhere, just so they can test it. Doesn't mean it's always going to be on the station, but you know. Now he's going to take us down the back alleyway where you can see the uh, big chasm shaft in, in the middle of the asteroid. And there's a, that looks like there might be an elevator there. There's piping and tubing and stuff. Um, when you approach real close, you, you could hear that it was creaking. And uh, if you want to see this uh, video in full display by by the um, by the developer, go to the Around the Verse episode 100 part 2 and uh, he explains the sounds of things like Alright, what is up here? Looks pretty cool. Looks like a big window there that leads to somewhere. I don't know. And then he's going to go downstairs to the cargo hold. There's apparently some kind of cargo hold right here. Number 4, or 4th level cargo hold. I don't see it being a cargo hold, but he drops it down down, 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 deep, 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 go deeper, and uh, that's back to the beginning where I said there's a lot of areas that are in zero G. Um, the area down there at the bottom is, is in zero G. You get a chance to see that. All right, guys. Well, this is the first sneak peek into Grim Hex. Should be coming out in uh, patch 2.5 uh, when. Uh, I think in the next week of the Around Verse, they're going to have a second part to this. And uh, I'll go ahead and do another breakout of that. I'll cut it out and take a look at it. Everything's floating around in Grim X. All right. Well, this was Mr. Everything with the first Naval Aerospace Squadron coming at you with some footage on Grim X.